This is the z Spectrum 510. It's a 3D printer. Although this machine looks like an ordinary photocopier, it prints objects in three dimensions. Simply upload a digital picture into the machine and it creates a solid object up to a cubic foot in size. Here's how it works. First, you provide the printer with a digital 3D file. The printer's processor dissects the 3D image like a CAT scan. It slices the image into super thin layers, each less than one one hundredth of an inch, close to the width of a human hair. The slices are translated into mathematical coordinates and plotted out into a design. Similar to how GPS uses math to build virtual maps. Once the design is loaded and processed by the printer, the replicating begins. A roller moves a thin layer of powder from a feed bin into the printer's build chamber. The powder is a mix of plastic compounds that have to be of a certain hardness and elasticity. When dry, it has the consistency of talcum powder. Once the first layer of powder is laid down, the print heads go into action. They print color ink onto the first layer according to the object's coordinates. But this machine doesn't just print color. To build in three dimensions, the printer needs an adhesive or binder fluid to create the foundation for the final object. As each thin layer of powder is added and the layers are glued together, the build chamber lowers, ready for more ink and adhesive. This continues one layer at a time until the entire model is complete. The object's color is created by mixing three primary colors of ink held in these reservoirs, which dispense the ink through three print heads. A fourth reservoir carries clear binder fluid. This allows the machine to create white when necessary. Here's a completed print job. It comes out as a thick block of powder, but buried inside are the solid figures. The surrounding powder holds up the objects as they're being constructed. The excess powder is reused for the next print job so nothing is wasted. Like an archaeologist wiping away the dust on an artifact, the newly printed subject is revealed. The figure is further cleaned by hand and then submersed in sealant and dried. One of these printers can create about 16 of these models every five hours. Architects and engineers use this machine for everything from scale models to machine prototypes with moving parts. If you can imagine it, this machine can make it.